good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back at it again with sort of a sort of a haul video. This is pretty much a My Damn Hauls here today, guys, but I got a couple trades to show off that I conducted through the beautiful My Damn Nation, if you will, or the MDT Nation, or whatever the hell you want to call it. So huge shout out to those people. We'll get into all of that, but you guys will see. We got a lot of stuff going on, right? We got the big dog all over the place. We got a few here. We got one back here. We got some Usos. We got some really good stuff going on, which I'm really excited to get into with you guys. I actually posted this image yesterday on my Instagram and I also wanted to get into yesterday. If you guys didn't see, I didn't post yesterday and I was still, you know, I was still under the weather a little bit. I was feeling much better than the day before, but I was super busy on top of not feeling the best. So I do apologize for that, for the no upload yesterday, but back at it again here today. I just wanted to add nobody checked on me because everybody likes to ask what is good everybody, but nobody likes to ask how good is everybody? What if you had Nobody to call me. I've just messing around, guys, but it's just a joke. But it really happened. But seriously, though, guys, I am doing much better than I was yesterday, and I appreciate Some people did reach out. I do appreciate it because I know that I do upload pretty much every single day. But we did miss yesterday, but I'm feeling a lot better now, guys. I got the MDT champion in front of me. If you guys missed out on Action Figure Appointment, it was a really great episode because I took this sleeveless hoodie, this red sleeveless hoodie, as you guys can see, and I put it on my MDT champion. And one thing I didn't even know about the hoodie that I got, I got this hoodie off of eBay. You guys can see here, red color. Matches the rest of the bloodline. Like, look at this right here. This is just elite right here. Like, look how freaking sick this is. I'll also plug in some images of a head sculpt that I'm getting from uh, from BEW. But the head sculpts that I'm getting from BEW are going to look fan freaking tastic on this body over here, especially since they're going to be interchangeable and stuff. And another thing is, a lot of people were saying that this figure over here, the other one that I conducted, I don't know if I ever showed this off on YouTube, guys, but I pretty much took my Freddy Blassie and I torso cracked it, put a Roman torso on there, put the jacket and then a gold chain on there, and I had the ponytail head sculpt over here, over on this Roman body, but since I only have one of the Elite 84, I plopped the uh, the man bun head sculpt over on the, the sleeveless hoodie figure over here, and I do plan on putting this back over here once I get that other ponytail head sculpt, and we got some other things in the works as well, but I'm going to have the fixed up Bloodline Romans are going to be really, really good going into these last two shows going into My Damn Nation before we get into that, which I'm which I'm going headstrong on, but Jesus Christ, man, trying to just get over the humpsies. I'm also doing some different remodeling stuff. That's why this show's kind of taking a minute, because the arena was a wreck from the Christmas show, but that's besides the point. We'll get them knocked out, man, and then once we do, oh, God, man, I'm so freaking ready, but there is that, and one thing I wanted to say about the sleeveless hoodie is there is a wire in this hood that makes it poseable, so that is sick as hell. Like, this is a poseable wire in this hood, which I did not know about when I first opened it and put it on the figure, but I gotta get more of this, and I think I'm gonna get my wife's cricket machine. She can make, like, not necessarily decals, but I guess decals, and I'm gonna try and iron on, like, a small Roman logo or Bloodline logo or maybe a custom logo that I can put on here for this Roman, but that's super badass. I also plan on painting the gauntlets a little bit, and I think this gauntlet's supposed to go over here. I could be wrong about that, but nonetheless, I'm gonna do something to this Roman, fix it up with the head sculpt and everything, and I may put even something on the back. I don't know, because this isn't Velcro, man. This is just straight up on there, and I want to get more of the Elite 84 as well, which takes us into another thing that we got. So there's the Roman, the two Romans that we made that I cannot wait to see on MDT screen. You guys know the, this is the Hell's Gate gear. I also plan on taking some extra Usos, which I will show off in a minute, but all these Usos and the Romans are going to look really, really strong up next to each other, but there's our Usos, MDT tag champs. You got the, all the Roman looks. This is every Roman look from the bloodline that we've seen in the pick fed. So you guys can let me know which one's your favorite. You like the hoodie Roman, the classy, classy blassy Roman, I guess we could call it. You got the Hell's Gate Roman and then the two Bloodline Romans. You got the white attire and then you have the red attire with the mismatched, you know, shoes there. I want to switch these to red too. I think that'd be pretty badass. Get some red gauntlets on there maybe. I don't know, but MDT Champion's looking definitely fresh. But here is the other Elite 79 that I ordered. So I have an extra Roman body for extra attires and stuff for Roman. Roman collection is coming together quite nicely, but got this off eBay. Thought this 
would be a nice pickup for my damn hauls right there. So we do have this extra Roman right here. I actually, you're probably wondering, why'd you get an Elite 79 instead of an Elite 84? It's because I have head sculpts in the works and I could just put on one of those head sculpts and the tattoo looks better on the Elite 79 for whatever reason. It fills in the gap right here. You guys know I don't like that gap. So the Elite 79 does better than the Elite 84 and the Elite 79 is actually significantly cheaper than the Elite 84 at this moment, even though the Elite 84 has better head sculpts. So since I already had some head sculpts in the works, I figured that would be better for that. But let's get into these trades, ladies and gentlemen, and then I'm going to talk about what we're probably going to do on the next episode of Action Figure Surgery because we got some good stuff going on. So the first trade that I conducted is to my man Orion Konkin, and he left us a letter right here. He said, hey, Broseph, hope you enjoy Smile Face Insta and YouTube Omega's Workshop. Go follow him, guys. Omega's Workshop. Enjoy. And the trade that we conducted with him was these figures back here. The first thing that we got was an Elite 54 Jimmy Uso. Now, I plan on uh, using these parts to make some new Uso attires. I also got the extra red shoes here that we can conduct and put on some different, different figures regardless of what we want to make. We also got the Chase variant Dolph Ziggler. You guys know I've been trying to track down a Chase variant Dolph Ziggler for a long time. He has on these, uh, I don't know what arms these are, but they're definitely not the right arms. These aren't Ziggler arms, I don't think, but he also threw in the Steel in the Show t-shirt right here. I'm going to pop these boots off, put on the black Elite 39 shoes, and then, or, or boots, and then uh, you guys can see here with the arm color, they're not accurate, so I'm going to put on the black uh, hand tape basic arms onto this Ziggler so I can make the black attire compared to the white, and uh, you know, the white boot, white tape attire, I'm going to flip that on its head and do the black tape, black boot attire, which will be really fire. That rhymed, unintentional. But a huge shout out to Omega's Workshop because he also threw in this sick-ass Seth Rollins fantasy attire that's going to go on my fan mail shelf, and that is this pink and black Rollins with the pink knee pads, the pink kick pads right here, and the pink vest. And I just want to tell you, bro, keep grinding on the custom game because I can see a lot of great potential right here. And this is a great custom in itself, but I think if you keep going, man, you're going to be even better, man. So keep on grinding. This is a sick-ass custom. Can't wait to put it over there on my fan mail shelf, but I thought that pink and uh, that pink and black Seth was looking pretty damn fire, so huge shout-out to Omega's Workshop for that Seth over there. But that is not all, guys. We also conducted another trade, and that is this one back here, which I'm gonna go ahead and just 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 move this ish out of the way. Get, get everyone out of my face. So, let's slide this ish back. Got a shish ton of Romans and Usos and Bloodlines. Oh, my. So, huge shout-out to my man Caden Warner for this trade because you guys can already see what we got going on. So the first little bit of business that we got, guys, is the first batch of Usos, and you're probably wondering why in the blue hell would you want these lime green Usos? And the reason we got the lime green Usos is because I wanted to have the taped ankles, right? I know it's just random, guys, but it is Valentine's Day right now. So happy Valentine's Day to everyone watching and to all the, uh, to the MDT Nation because I love all you guys. Happy Valentine's Day. But the reason we wanted the green Usos is because I wanted these taped boots look like we got with the MDT Hell's Gate Roman over here. So I wanted more boots like this so that I could do fix-ups and stuff. And the reason we're getting extra Usos is because I want to switch these lower legs and stuff onto the white Usos over here. And I think we're going to have some pretty sick attires going on. But he also threw in some fodder. We got some Kurt Angle knee pads. We got some Triple H boots, which I really appreciate. Thank you to Caden for those. That is not all. He also threw in some Mizdow knee pads to go with our Triple H boots and Kurt Angle boots or knee pads. Idiot. Me. Farouk head, elbow pad, and then we also got some more Elite 54 Usos. We have two Jimmy Usos with the head sculpt, which is very weird because I feel like his head sculpt always looks his head sculpt from Elite 54 looks so much better than my damn head sculpt, but we have a Jimmy, we got a J, no psych, we have a Jimmy, we have a J, we have the rest of our Usos over here, so we're gonna do some really sick ass surgery on these guys that I can't wait to get into. Hopefully everything turns out handy dandy notebook, you know what I'm saying? One thing I will say though is I'm going to need some more Jimmy head sculpts, but by the time that we uh, get everything going, I'm sure that by the time everything's released and everything, like you guys know that we have a new Jimmy and Jay battle pack coming soon, I'm sure that we'll get some better head sculpts in here. Maybe we can finally fix up our Jimmy and get rid of that damn screaming head sculpt. Like, wh wh why is this guy yelling? This guy's yelling all the time on MDT Live. Every time you turn on the damn TV, who's yelling? He is. Why are you yelling? Stop that. So, we'll have our red gear, we'll have our white gear, and then we'll have some new fantasy gear and some cool fix-up Usos that we're working with right here. But before we get out of here, guys, I do want to get into the shout-out here and the note. 
And he also has some sick ass fan art right there. Look at that fan art. Look at that. Look at that. That's dope. That's the MDT logo. That looks good. But I just want to give a huge shout out to Cadence underscore action underscore figures on Instagram and YouTube for the trade. Give him a follow. He's doing some great work on his weekly shows on Insta and his pay-per-views on YouTube. Again, that's Cadence underscore action underscore figures. He says, thanks, Brad. Great doing business with you, and I love the channel. It was actually the prime reason and inspiration for me to start my startup. Hopefully, I make it big someday like you. Now, stop reading this because you're wasting John Brown football time. You're right. Get this shit out of here. Nah, I'm just kidding, but then he goes on to say, P.S. Enjoy the extra parts. Not sure if you want them, but I just thought I'd throw them in. Caden Warner. It was Warner, right? Warner. Willie. Awesome, man. Can't wait to put that in there, but make it big like me, Brad. Make it big like me. Have I made it big, Brad? Have I made it big? I appreciate the kind words, Caden. Huge thank you again for the trade. I really appreciate it. Huge shout out to Omega's Workshop again for his trade. Really like what we got coming together here. A lot of stuff going on. Didn't even realize we had this much stuff going on, but really enjoy all the different things that we got going on here. Can't wait to get in here and do some surgery. Get all the extra things going and everything like that, but NXT tonight, guys, if you guys want me to review, I'm, I'm I might review, you know, we did a review of NXT last time. I might do a short little review of NXT because I felt like last time a, a lot of you guys did enjoy my thoughts and reactions to NXT War Games, so I guess I can do a reaction to NXT Vengeance going on tonight, but I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. Had a lot of fun. Really felt good to get back over here instead of doing a voiceover video, so I'm always enjoying this. But anyways, guys, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Huge shout-out to Omega's Workshop and Cadence underscore action underscore figures on Instagram and YouTube. Go follow those guys. Check those guys out. But before we get out of here, though, let's get into our other random shout out. And I thought this was pretty good. This random shout out is going to go to Tom Tower. He says, whatever is making the goat sick is crossing the line, Brad. I thought that was pretty fun. First of all, I appreciate you guys thinking I'm making it big and thanking you guys for thinking I'm the goat. That means a lot to me. You guys are the absolute best. So a huge shout out to MDT Nation again. He, a lot of shout outs to the MDT Nation, man. You guys are the absolute goats. You guys are the goats, not me. But a huge shout out to Tom for that comment. Really appreciate that, man. No longer sick, man. Not no longer sick, man. Where you shake that ish off. Can't get sick around here. Gotta make football content for the football team, if you get what I'm saying. But thank you guys for watching. Don't cross the line. Get the hell out of here. What are you doing? Just go, you big, stupid, dumb animal. You cross the line.